Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and welcome. In this presentation, I am going to address the replication of viruses, with some reference to SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease. Although viruses do not exhibit characteristics of living things, such as using energy or growth and development, they do share one common feature, and that is to replicate. Biologists like to use patterns to understand what they're studying, and they look at the stages of replication in the virus, and although they may vary from species to species, there are certain characteristics which are in common. I'd like to address in this presentation those six stages of virus replication. The first stage of virus replication is called attachment. And that is when the virus particle, the virion, attaches to the surface of the host cell. For example, I have here an image that represents SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease. And beneath it, we'll place an example of a target cell. Now we have to make them at the correct scale, so we need to shrink down that virus, so it's about this size right here. During the attachment stage, that virus will land on the surface of this cell. At this point, the spike proteins, the S proteins that are found on the virus envelope will make contact to an enzyme on the surface of the host cell. Once that contact is established, we begin the infection process. The second stage of virus replication is called penetration. And that is when the virus enters the cell. Sometimes the entire virus particle passes through the cell membrane and goes into the cytoplasm. Other times, while bound to the surface of the host cell, the virus inserts only its genetic code into the host cell. In the case of SARS-CoV-2, it is the entire particle which gains entry into the cell cytoplasm. In the case of SARS-CoV-2, we need to remove the outer coverings of the virion and reveal its genetic code. This stage is called uncoding. And when the virus becomes uncoded, its genetic material becomes available to travel in the cytoplasm to the sites of protein synthesis. The next stage is called replication. And that is when the blueprints of that virus are used by the cell's ribosomes, the protein factories, to make more proteins. And some of these proteins will help in the duplication of the virus blueprints. So now we will have both proteins and new virus blueprints available to make new virus particles. Once the raw materials for making new viruses have been manufactured, it's time to put them together into the new virions. And that is done in a stage called assembly. In the case of SARS-CoV-2, the blueprints and the proteins come together and they form the virus particle. Now this virus particle also uses a piece of the membrane within the cell to wrap itself within that and then stud it with the SARS-CoV-2 proteins. The final stage of virus replication is called virion release. And that is when the newly assembled virus particles are released from inside of the cell to their external surroundings. In the case of SARS-CoV-2, there is a vesicle that forms around the virus particle itself. And this vesicle transports the virus to the surface. At the surface, the vesicle fuses with the cell membrane and releases the virus into the external surroundings. I trust you found this presentation both informative and helpful in constructing a better understanding of SARS-CoV-2 and coronavirus disease. If you'd like more information, visit my Twitter account, at mdespezio. There you'll find an assortment of tweets. Some of them give you more information or point you to articles that I found of interest. Others 
will point you to YouTube videos that I have produced. Still others will give you tips and pointers on being a better online educator. And finally, I'll also post information about webinars that I'm going to give. There's more information available at my blog site, covid19.michaeldespezio.com, where I take a deeper dive into the biology of coronavirus disease. Well, thanks for joining. I'll see you in my next video.